Right, you're going to see you. You're going to hate mail. We're mm, talking about hate mail. Transgender hate mail. Homosexual hate mail. Atheist hate mail. Mm, a bunch of other things like that. Basically, it was me reacting to a bunch of uh, mostly negative comments uh, on YouTube and DeviantArt. Mm, you know, the responses to the comments I posted against these deviant lifestyles and a few other things. Uh, trigger warning words like penis, vagina, uterus, ovaries, testicles, and vulva will be used in these videos. I am a Bible believing Christian, so I say I'm take you off. They say they're Christian, but don't believe the Bible. What they say may take you off. And what, and really miss them up, but what they say may take you off. They will say the guy is evil, which is wrong, or God does not exist, which is wrong, but they say may take you off. Um, let's see here. What is it? What is it? Uh, you off. Um, oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I have a bunch of screen caps over here, and I won't be showing them to you because my brother has informed me that they can be considered evidence of harassment. Meaning, when someone is posting footage, you know, posting content saying they they want to end it all because of what the way their body, you know, body looks or sounds or what normal biological function it does, like menstruate or something like that. And I say, no, there's no need to do that. Here's the um. The scientific reasons why, or the technical, you know, the uh, biblical reasons why I believe that they can say that's harassment because they're not thinking straight. Also, I will not be talking about say, talking about names or icons you know, of, of people in these videos, other than my own, of course, uh, because it's not about who said what specifically. It's about what these people, people who believe this way, are saying and why I will stand against it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue on here. We have this person here. I was on DeviantArt, boy, you know, man, person more testicles. Who says he had his penis and his testicles removed, surgically removed, and what was left shaped into a vulva, something that looks like a vulva. It will never be a vulva, but he now says he's a girl now, uh, which is wrong, you know, a huge lie. But uh, you know, he basically did all this stuff to try and make it uh, harder, make it easier, harder for people to see through that lie. But still, it doesn't work because, of course, it's easy. He's a dude. So anyway, still, he's hating on me because I'm saying that that lifestyle is horrible and wrong, and you should just be doing that. But the way he's doing it is not just saying you're you're wrong. Here's why I say you're wrong. He, it's also trying to mudsling and basically defame and lie more, lie about what I'm doing, all the things I'm doing. Call me pedophile and all kinds of other stuff, which is uh, with no evidence at all, mm -hmm. except for of course the uh, cartoon girls that are in my favorites, mm -hmm. which are on YouTube or DeviantArt, which are public file. You can look at those and see. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the most you'll say, okay, this is kind of consider these drawings. Some of these drawings consider creepy because it's cartoon girls. Mm -hmm. You know, various states of dress, but you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cartoon girls, yeah. Is 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 uh, he a well class a heterosexual man? Oh yes, yes he is. <laughs> so it's like oh, okay, yeah. Uh, usually a lot of heterosexual men have pictures like these because of course they like women, <laughs> females. <laughs> okay, people <laughs> more those reasons. So, but he's still, still trying to find evidence, and he found this stuff over here. A uh, picture of Miss Ch a fan picture of Miss Chalice. <laughs> Someone drew a picture of Miss Chalice, all grown up, <laughs> looking more human, uh, in a dress. That uh, basically uh, is being blown up mm, by the wind from the back, mm, so you can see your underwear. And she, he's like saying, also still favoriting weird stuff. I see. I don't cuss, so I got rid of that word. God, God is crying. You have betrayed him. And I say, actually, he's okay with me enjoying art of his creation, as long as nothing bad is happening, and nothing bad is happening here. Okay, you have the girl, Miss Chalice, mm, you know, fan art version of Miss Chalice, actually looking back at the camera like, yeah, you like that, <laughs> you know. So she's like, yeah. It's not even like, oh no, the wind blew up my skirt. <laughs> Everyone's seeing my underwear. No, it's, it's just like, yeah, you like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So it's 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 fan art, <laughs> you know, silly fan art. And then someone says, God didn't make this. The original artist did. And laughing, like two laughing emojis. I'm like, um, but the artist was inspired by real life women, and God made those. <laughs> I say to them, I got this the old old school ball mouse. So let's go click. Someone else says, if God literally told you one night it's okay to fave pics of sexy cuphead girls, then you know who it is. <laughs> then you need to be evaluated by a mental health professional. You are hearing voices. And I say, there was no voice. There are scriptures. Uh, Psalm, Proverbs 22. <laughs> then the Lord God came. Oh, no, no. Genesis 22. 6. No, no, 6. Uh, Genesis 22. Uh, 222. Uh, then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. 
Genesis 2.22. And then, uh, I think it's Proverbs, this one, uh, 18, so only Proverbs something 18. May your phone be blessed. You know, there's a lot of uh, innuendo in the Bible. Mm. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the, the wife of your youth. And also, not really uh, single entendres. <laughs> and uh, then, uh, no, no, then uh, the second next verse is, A loving doe, a graceful fawn, may her breasts satisfy you always. May you forever, may you be captivated by her love forever. Proverbs 5, 18 and 19. Mm. God encourages men to enjoy the way women look in the right circumstances. Mm. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. And someone, then this person says, also oh, your holy book promotes sexism. I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Any excuse to hate on things. Mm. Okay, K okay, then. Kind of explains why you're probably single. Mm. Yeah, it's just so silly. Then someone says, How does a pedophilic transphobe like you even function in daily life? How do you manage to tie your shoes or pay the bills in the morning when you're this absolutely stupid? And I say, I guess I'm not as stupid as you think. Mm. And what's pedophilia? What pedophilia? Are any children being assaulted in my faves? Mm. You know, because again, the guy is trying to find evidence of pedophilia. Uh, He's trying to trump up evidence of pedophilia by going after my favorites, which they has bunches of art of you know fan art of cartoon girls. You know, they're basically some of these fan his fans are drawing them in different clothes and whatnot, and some of them are very sexy, mm -hmm, very sexy clothes and whatnot. And it's just like yeah, you know, and they're like he's like going, oh uh, this is this is pedophilia, mm -hmm, obvious evidence of pedophilia, cause um uh, you know uh, pa panties mm -hmm, and and swimsuits. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, you know. And they're, they're, they're looking all seductive, you know, these, these cartoon girls from different shows that I guess he likes. Cartoon girls. So bad. And then, are you assault him? Any children being assaulted in my face, I ask? And he says, probably, yeah. I'm like, okay. When you say probably, <laughs> you mess yourself up even more because you're saying you're not even sure. You're saying you're not even sure. And for hard evidence, you're gonna be sure. So yeah, that's another sign that something's wrong. Are you doing it wrong? He's he trying to just trump up charges, spread rumors that aren't true. And I say probably it's not a good enough for actual evidence. You need to find out for real. <laughs> you know, I tell him. And I, like, and he says, "You should take your own advice, there, kiddo." It's like you, like you can't be who you want to be because that's against science. Like you say, oh, basically, this person's saying you. You're saying you can't be who you want to be because that's against science. Also, you climate change is not real. I never said that. Science is sinful. I never said that. And corrupted by PC police. Mm, yeah. <laughs> can't be. No, I never said. And I say I never said anything about climate change. And science is not sinful, but PC police do try to corrupt it. Mm. Because they're trying to say, oh, there's a brain. I saw that in brain scans, the brains say, uh, a brain, you know, a person born with testicles looks more like a person born with ovaries brains. And a brain that with a person born with ovaries, uh, but head looks more like a person born with testicles brain. Uh, so obviously they, what they say is true. I'm like, yeah, sometimes that happens. But most, a lot, you know, but other times, of course, it's not the case. Other times you'll find people who say they're trans, whose brains look like, you know, say they're trans, who are born with testicles, whose brains look like people born with testicles brains. You find someone born with, oh, you know, whose brain, who says they're trans, whose brain looks like a person born with ovaries brains. Mm -hmm. But again, are you going to say, oh no, because of this brain scan, you can't be trans because mm -hmm. <laughs> your brain doesn't look like uh, the opposite sex is brain like no because it's not about brains it's about what you want so can you on here um and, I say, and then this person says, PC police try to corrupt it. And I'm like, which PC police? The ones who did decades of research and found out that trans people aren't actually confused or mentally ill at all? Yeah, because they're, they're wrong. Uh, the conservative Christian scientists who changed their minds after years of... Well, they got corrupted, you know? Years of uh, fruitless research trying to prove that trans people are mentally ill. Uh, not not fruitless. <laughs> uh, the ones who stayed far, as far away from politics they could for over 40 years. Sure, keep telling yourself that, hon. Anything you could do to keep up the delusion. Uh, I say traitors then. Traitors is based on anti-science beliefs and fear. Mm -hmm. Someone else says, the scientific community is full of traitors then. Mm -hmm. Traitors then. Mm -hmm. well, not the entire thing. Well, well, there's definitely some people. Okay, it's your hill to die on, kiddo. You're the expert after all, right? Right, winking smile emoji is so obviously sarcastic. Mm, how much time we have? So I'll say, yeah, continue on. Right. Someone else says anti-trans activists like you are demanding to discriminate people on the basis of sex. Not really. Mm, to increase violence against trans people. Definitely not me. Mm, nope. 
uh, to control the healthcare transgender people. No, no, to stop them from doing that stupid stuff it messes with their health. So they can have regular healthcare like everybody else does. Once again, next time, check me out on YouTube.